All right, quick. If you could be any Drag Mall Z character, who would you be? If you picked a Saiyan or some major bad guy, then congratulations, you just picked a top tier. Now, I don't know who you picked, but I do know who you didn't pick. Yamcha. Don't nobody want to be Yamcha. It's over. Uh, oh no! Bruh. <sighs> Kamikaze. No way to defend. A wise man once said, Fuck, word. Who wants to work? I want the money to work for me. I'm tired of working for the money. Just pick a top tier. <laughs> you want to win, yo? Pick yeah, yeah, yeah. a fucking top tier. I don't even like Barog like that no more, man. Just pick him, yo. Pick, pick, pick a top tier. He switches all the time. Brilliant. A modern day Shakespeare. Anyway, let's just get into it. Here are three reasons why you should pick a top tier, AKA three reasons why you didn't pick Yamcha. Number one, you can be the best you. Question for you, little Timmy. What do you want to be when you grow up? Hmm. President of the United States. Really? Really Timmy, president? Really dude? Really? Get the fuck out of my classroom. Why you gotta be so rude? What about you, Bizarro Flame? I'm thinking McDonald's cashier. Easy money. Great choice, Bizarro. Way not to be a tear whore. Both scenarios, whether you choose to be Yamcha or a McDonald's cashier, equates to a scenario where you're not bringing out your full potential. I mean, maybe you can be the best damn McDonald's cashier that ever existed, but I mean, really? Like, this is a competition. You're, you're capping yourself. You will more than likely be losing to people who have less potential than you, but because they picked a better character, they'll still win. Like, why would you lose to a guy with a machine gun because you decided to come at him with a knife? Like, who does that? No one. Reason number two why you should pick a top tier. It's a sign of respect to your opponent. All right, let's just put this out in the air. There's this negative stigma in the fighting game community that comes from a lot of the lower level players that say picking a top tier character is dishonorable which is complete and utter bullshit. Yo, real talk, most of you low slash mid-tier mains who are watching this video, who have that mentality, you're afraid, you're scared. When a player uses the best character in the game against you, they're saying, come at me, kakate koi. Like, I'm going 100% on you. Because when a player uses the best character in the game and loses, there's no excuse. They got outplayed. But when you lose while using a low slash mid tier character, you can blame your loss on your character's limitations or on the opponent's character's lack of limitations. So in your mind, you didn't lose to the player, you lost to the character, which is a total cop out because you have too much pride to accept total defeat. If this is you, stop being a scrub lord and own up to your losses. Stop being a little Number three, if you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. President Martin Luther King III, 1776. I already know what a majority of you are thinking. Some of you are character loyalists. Like you choose the same character every single time, no matter what the game is. You use all Mario or you use all Sagat. Okay, then there's some of you who just want to grow the metagame for unused characters, which is awesome. Some of you guys just don't like how the character feels. That's fine. That's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. To each their own, that's your prerogative. But if you take your fighting game career seriously, you should still pick a top tier character because by choosing one, it helps you to get a deeper understanding of that character. Knowing how a top tier character works and understanding where they're coming from makes you infinitely more efficient when you're playing against them. Top players in any fighting game community do this all the time. They pick top tier characters to get better matchup knowledge 
and in some rare cases, they just end up switching to them. And that's why nine times out of 10, if you play a top player, they will probably beat you with all the other top tiers because they have already used them. So those are three reasons why you should pick a top tier if you're serious about winning any kind of fighting game tournament. Um, you guys might know of some more reasons uh, to pick them. And if you do, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Tell me if you have any other reasons why you think people should use. And if you have any reasons why you think people shouldn't pick top tiers, I would definitely like to hear that because I would have to disagree. So, yeah. Until then, what are you waiting for? These days. These days you're just switching. Yeah, he's the no. Now I think he's, yo, Kami, Kami, Kami Akuma? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. You gotta stick. You have to have that, you know, I mean, yeah, you want to mess around with other characters, but look at Japan. One character, forever. Till death. One character. Rufus, look at all the people that the character people. The top players are winning. A lot of the reason is because they, 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 they know who the best characters are and they go to them. 